Welcome ladies and gentlemen, and no, this is not a Call of Duty Black Ops 2 video. This is WWE 13, and I thought I would switch it up a little bit for now. Uh, I will be having more Black Ops 2 videos in the future, so don't worry about that. But this is Team Turn the Show Off, Dolph Ziggler and Beth Phoenix uh, versus uh, another mixed tag team coming up in a minute here. Uh, and I hope you guys will enjoy this. Uh, this is an idea I got uh, for a storyline and uh, I thought why not? Why not do it? So here is the team they're facing. They're facing Team Tits and Ass, Trish Stratus, and Badass Billy Gunn. And uh, here we go. So uh, they might even be a couple. I'm not quite sure. Yet we'll see how this goes. And uh, look at that entrance right there. Here we go. So this is going to be an awesome match. I hope you guys enjoy this. And um, let's talk a little bit more about uh, Billy Gunn and Trish Stratus. Why not? So Billy Gunn and Trish were on the 1000th episode of Monday Night Raw. Uh, Trish was with Lita backstage. And uh, I believe they're on a WWE.com. Uh, exclusive video as well and Billy Gunn was with Road Dog and Ed's Pac, uh when they came out for uh, DX's reunion uh, I thought that was awesome to see them back in the ring and like Jerry Lawler said they could start a new Attitude Era tomorrow I mean they didn't look any different uh, only their hair that's about it uh, like Triple H said he's the only one in the ring that's not uh, balding Everyone else was, so that was kind of funny. But uh, other than that, they are uh, D Generation X, and they could easily come back tomorrow and start a new Attitude Era. I mean, these guys invaded WCW, and that was uh, one of the best moments of DX. Uh, another moment I remember was uh, the New Age Outlaws, Badass Billy Gunn, and Road Dog Jesse James winning the tag team titles. That was awesome. Uh, these guys are like, I know Bart Gunn and Billy Gunn uh, were in a tag team called the Smoking Guns and they were with uh, Sonny at one point and uh, I remember watching, I believe it was In Your House where they were facing off against Owen Hart and I believe it was Owen Hart and British Bulldog, I'm not quite sure, either British Bulldog or Jim N uh, Neidhart, I'm not sure. But it was an awesome match, and uh, Heart Foundation versus the Smoking Guns, that was awesome. Uh, if you guys remember that, leave a comment below. And um, some of Trisha's best moments, obviously, uh, were when she won the Women's Championship multiple times. I believe she's uh, one of the only few Canadian divas uh, to win the Women's Championship as much as she did. Uh, she might be one of the only Canadian Divas, I'm not sure. Probably, but uh, she is awesome. And uh, she's now uh, doing some fitness thing of her own. Uh, so she's no longer with World Wrestling Entertainment, uh, which is unfortunate. But it would be awesome to uh, see her uh, back. I know she returned for Tough Enough, and she was um, a trainer for that. I'm not sure if they're going to have another season of Tough Enough. If they do, then she might be a trainer again. Um, but uh, now Billy Gunn is uh, waiting to tag her in. So now Trish is being tagged in. That means uh, Beth Phoenix has to be in or else this match will end in a disqualification. So now Billy Gunn has to go back in and beat up Ziggler some more. Uh, so yeah, anyway, a uh, couple of Trish's moments. Like I remember when she was with uh, Test and Albert. Uh, for TNA, that's where I got. It's not TNA, it's T and A, like because Test and Albert and Trish. So, yeah, she was with them, and uh, that's kind of where I got the idea for this uh, mixed tag team with Trish and Billy Gunn uh, because of the whole T and A thing. I kind of got the idea from that, uh, but. I just call it like straight up the tits and ass tag team because 
badass billy gun and Trish Stratus, obviously. So there you go. That's why I made up that name. And Team Turn the Show Off uh, is obviously uh, the show off Dolph Ziggler and uh, Beth Phoenix because you want to turn the show off every time you see them. So yeah, that's why uh, I named that team uh, the way it did. And I hope you guys enjoy my whole superstar movement I'm doing. I'm going to be introducing a lot more uh, DLC characters like Ryback. I can't wait for uh, I can't wait to make some videos with Ryback and and uh, AJ Lee and stuff. That is going to be awesome. And the uh, new titles they added today. Uh, I just downloaded the DLC. There's some sick new titles. They have the ECW television title. They have the ECW tag titles. They have the WCW tag titles. The WCW United States title. I mean, that is just sick. And then the Spinner US title as well. I cannot wait for that, guys. Uh, also, I will be posting some more podcasting uh, gameplay uh, from my new uh, N Clan. I've officially joined N now, so I will be on uh, the N Clan doing podcasting and the uh, game battle scrims for um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Another thing too I wanted to talk to you guys about was uh, Far Cry 3 and Hitman Absolution. Um, I'm stuck between which one I should get right now, like Christmas is coming up and uh, a lot of things are coming out one time, so uh, like in November uh, it was WWE 13 um, and uh, Black Ops 2 in the same month, and uh, now in December it's even crazier, it's um, Dark Knight Rises and uh, Hitman came out in November by the way. And, uh, it, like, in the late end of November, so November 20th, I believe. So, yeah, so this month, it's, uh, Dark Knight Rises, Far Cry 3, and, uh, a couple other things I might be getting for some of my friends, I'm not sure. Uh, so, yeah, I have to choose Hitman or Far Cry 3. Which one should I choose? Uh, leave your comment below. F Far Cry 3, uh, for me... Uh, it would be worth it. It would be worth the, the money because it's an open world and uh, there's co-op and there's multiplayer. Hitman, I'm not sure about. I think it's just single player and it's not open world. It's mission based. So I'm not quite sure if that would be worth the money. I should just probably rent Hitman. Uh, so I think I've made my decision there but I still want you guys to Leave a comment below uh, what, telling me what gameplay you'd want to see on my channel. Far Cry 3 or Hitman Absolution. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, also, Dark Knight Rises, like I said, I can't wait for that. I'm either going to get uh, the limited edition, like I believe it's like a Batman cowl, or I'm just going to get the regular Blu-ray. I'm not sure which one yet. Or maybe the trilogy. I don't really know about uh, which edition I'm getting yet, but I can't wait for that. And I already have uh, Batman Begins on DVD, but I never got The Dark Knight on DVD, so that would be good to get a trilogy or something. I'm not sure what I will get, so leave a comment below which edition I should get. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And uh, if you like these commentaries, then let me know, and I'll do more of them. Uh, the next couple videos you'll see will be some Call of Duty videos, and then I will go back to uh, some DLC videos for WWE 13 as well. I hope to see you guys in my next video, and uh, please uh, leave a like if you like the video, and comment on the video with... Uh, good or bad comments I don't really care I'll reply anyway so just let me know and uh, peace out guys I'll see you later and your winners uh, by way of pinfall team tits and ass badass billy gun and Trish Stratus there you go guys I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, match and uh, Dolph Ziggler uh, unfortunately the show is over for him 
So, um, see you later, Ziggler. And I hope, honestly, that he wins at TLC, but I don't think he will. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll see you later in my next video. Peace out.